Okay, so it's New Year time, and it's that time of the year when we all make resolutions. Now, do you remember what was your resolution for the year 2016? Well, I'm sure most of you don't. But will that deter you from making fresh New Year resolutions? No, again. So then, I'm going to help you stick around your New Year resolutions for the year 2017. And helping me understand and execute this plan is life coach, journey practitioner, and reconnection certified practitioner Emma Thompson. My first question is. Why do we have New Year resolutions? There's lots of different reasons. Um, sometimes people, towards the end of the year, they're in a place of reflection, so they're looking at what's taken place that year, and they're always wanting to improve yourself. So it comes from a very good place um, for most people. However, for some, it feels a little bit like a should. Mm. I should have a resolution, or I've I read in the magazine, or I've, I've seen on the TV that I should have one. So I'd like to point out that really it should be a personal choice and not one that's made for another member of the family or a significant other or because they should. It should really come from the heartfelt place for it to be successful. Absolutely. What are the most common New Year resolutions? That... The most common is the um, majority of people like to lose weight, want yeah. to get fit. Um, some people want to change careers and they say this year I'm going to do this, this year I'm going to do my bucket list holiday. A lot of the world like to give up certain things like sugar or um, additives in food um, and sometimes we over restrict ourselves you know we can make it too difficult for ourselves to um, to actually succeed in that area so a recommendation would be to be fairly kind to yourself and realistic that's what was going to be my next question how do we make realistic goals that we can stick to and really see the difference in ourselves well, what's realistic to me will be different to what's realistic to you so it kind of goes back to that um, conversation we did have before about self-love and self-worth and, and self-honouring. So really to have a, a chat internally with what is your, what it really is your heartfelt goal and um, how committed are you to actually achieving it. Um, you can even write yourself a letter as if it's to a friend but it's actually to yourself about what you want to achieve next year mm -hmm. and kind of mull it over a week or two before New Year's Eve if that's when you choose to do it and see whether you think you're stretching yourself too much, whether you're pushing yourself a little bit, or whether you're comfortable with the challenge. Mm -hmm. So it's all about accountability. And it's being accountable to yourself for uh, the decisions that you've made. Um, some people are very good with holding themselves accountable through their own self-motivation. Um, other people need support and guidance. It could be a friend or a family member that you're kind of checking in with. Maybe we could do a challenge together, a weight loss challenge, or a a yoga challenge or um, a healthy eating challenge and other times people like to do things for themselves and, and ask for external support mm -hmm. um, in order to achieve the goal. So again it's really about being authentic to yourself and, and knowing the truth about whether you need support or not and also making the conscious choice to plan to succeed. I personally feel any growth that we are looking at should be um, you know in growth in terms of mind, body and soul. Yes. What's your take on that? Some people like to split up resolutions. Um, some people just have a particular area of their life that they want to improve on. And from a holistic coaching perspective, we're actually interested in also improving things like maybe having just more fun yeah. in 2017. It doesn't have to be all the heavy weighted yeah. um, things. That's my resolution for 2017. To have more fun. To just have more fun and be light and not think too much, not overthink. Great, and being present, living in the moment, okay. that kind of higher energy feel. Mm -hmm. um, if you did want to categorise it, or any of the listeners would like to categorise it, you can categorise the body, mind, and then the spirit separately. So for the body, you know, you can think about joining exercise classes, um, taking part in breathing exercises, active breathing and awareness, um, yoga practice, spending more time in nature. Um, looking after your body. From a spiritual perspective, we would like to encourage meditations, even if it's only 15 minutes a day. Um, a lot of people talk about praying or being in just general gratitude to the universe itself, because when we are thankful and we're living from a place of abundance, what happens is we attract more abundance into our life. Be more thankful, not only for the big things like health and wealth and, and a full tummy, but also things like air conditioning and water and um, things that uh, 
joking aside, we call first world problems. Right, absolutely, totally agree. What are the few tips that you would like to give everyone that uh, will make them really live a fulfilling life? So it's to be conscious in your decision making and to be in a place of self-love. Um, how you get um, to top yourself up with self-love is to really look at the qualities internally that you have um, which nobody and no thing can ever take away from you. So it's reaffirming your essence, the soul, um, like I am a great person, I am kind, I am open, I'm a good mother, I'm honest, but really amazingly feeling the truth about who you are and then outwardly expressing that to yourself from a place of internal worship. And when we're in that place of self-love, we make um, better choices and better decisions because mm. we're not looking for any resolutions that we may take for external gratification because we already have the internal love which is boosting. So the external gratification and compliments is adding to the internal love which um, should always be there but always needs to have a constant reminder. Every day in every way, my body is becoming more and more healthy through my guided health practices. I vividly visualize the attainment of my goals and then I move into action. All of my actions are aimed at obtaining success in all areas of my life beyond any perceived limitations. My past has no power over the fabulous future I create today. I am the sum total of my thinking. Therefore, I will only think those thoughts that bring peace and harmony into my life. I love myself and I choose to live in complete balance. Emma, how can we have a family resolution that we all can do together? One really lovely family resolution is to go out and choose a big, empty, beautiful jar of some kind. Mm -hmm. And at the end of every week, um, you can choose a member of the family or each person can do it every week to write something that they're really pleased with about themselves or about an experience that they've had that week. And then they fold it up and put it into the jar. And then at the end of the year, say the final week um, of, of the following year, then as a family at the dinner table, you could choose to open five or ten in the evening and really be in thankfulness and, and uh, looking back on that year and looking at how much fun you had, how much growth you had, how much positivity you had. And Absolutely. it would really also inspire for to create the following changes for the next year. So much fun. And I, I think as you were telling me before that you can have these resolutions any time of the year. Yes, yeah, sometimes we might go out and see a movie or we might have lunch with a friend and just feel really motivated and inspired. Yeah. And what I'd like to say is that if you ever do get that kind of spirit coming alive, that yeah. fire, that positivity, to, to just choose that your new year can be any day you choose yeah. it to be. It's That's your good. start, it's your change, it's your life and you're in charge of that. So it doesn't have to be a should waiting for new year. Sometimes it can be an excuse to fail, to wait for new year. So. My advice would be whenever your new year comes, no matter what month it is, no matter what date it is, really take that motivation by the horns and, and really live your truth. And good luck. And good luck, absolutely. Every day is a new day and a new beginning. Exactly. Thank you so much. I think it was mm -hmm. wonderful talking to you and my viewers Thank must you. be really happy listening to this. Thank you. Thank you for having me. My New Year resolution is to tell all my near and dear ones how much I love them, how much I value them and how without their love and support, I would never be what I am. And that includes my audience as well. And now with those valuable tips from Emma, I suggest you make your resolutions quickly. Bye.